Okay, y'all. Jingle time. Remember I did, um, my baloney has the first name, blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to cheat just like I didn't cheat with that one. Um, I'm going to do this from the top of my dome. But I've always liked the song as a little girl. Some of y'all might have to look this up. Uh, look for the union. Hey! Look for the union label when you are buying. <coughs> <laughs> Let's take that from the top, maestro. Okay. Look for the union label when you are buying a coat dress or blouse. Remember, remember they used to do this. Remember somewhere the union sewing and something's going to feed the kids around the house. We work hard, but who's complaining? Some something, something, some something, da da. So always look for the union label. It says we're able to make it in the USA. Y'all remember that? Okay, for you young people that don't know what that is. Oh, I'm shame. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ain't nobody get their hair done. Mm -hmm. Look up. I G. L W U. It's it was pronounced igloo, but um I think it was like <sighs> has to do with the workers union. Um I think for like garments and things like that. Um and I think it might be specific to women, but um years ago, I was born in '66. So I would say from then up until maybe like, maybe the 90s, early 90s, I just ate, excuse me. You'd see these little white labels and sometimes they would have, um, in later years they started having, you know, red, white, and blue on them. But it would just be the name of the garment the size and then you see this little little label that would, would ensure you that it was made in the USA um but it was that igloo label look for the union label when you are buying a, a coat dress or blouse see see so again it has something to do with the union women and clothing or something like that Okay, I'll see y'all next time a jingle pops up in my head. Now I got to go research those lyrics and see all of the words I busted up.